Hello YouTubers, my name is MixV, you are on the channel for those who love inline skating and wants to progress in it, and today we will be talking about the advantages of skating slower. Well, there will be not too much dynamic skating in this video, and by the advantages I mostly mean my pathetic attempts to justify me being rather slowish in this one. But anyway, I have a pack of rather good reasons to not be very fast today. First of all, this is my first city skating session in this year. Finally, the weather gave me a chance to skate and there is some clean asphalt Yes, I've been trying to skate few times in January, but that wasn't really successful. Also, my bearings have come through all the autumn and the winter, through all the rains and snows, and after that they are not spinning as good as before. So they just need a little bit of recovery. Also, although I haven't been inline skating too much, I've been ice skating and I just need some readjustment of myself to the wheels. Ice skates are much more agile than inline skates and even my rather short setup with three 110mm wheels is looking rather clumsy and cumbersome to me right now. By the way, if you haven't seen my ice jumping shots, you should check them out. The last one hit a good number on TikTok and Instagram. And although the weather is better right now, there are still some areas of very, very bad surfaces. Like this one, for example. An icy shell that almost made me fall. But that's enough of the reasons. Let's try to find some advantages. And first and probably the main advantage. While skating slow, you can give much more attention to the technique. You can practice a good push, a good stride. Maybe some one foot skating and some backward skating and you won't be in such a rush you will control yourself better and you will understand your mistakes better it's sometimes good to put your brain in the slow more mode The next advantage is that you can look around you, you can enjoy the sights of your beautiful city. You can see, for example, that wonderful lines of grey snow drifts consisting of mud, dust and a little bit of a snow. You can also see that limitless fields of grey ice And you can see that amazingly happy faces of the pedestrians who are trying to keep their lives while moving through that ice and snow hell. Yeah, I love the weather in my city and I admire the work of our city services. And the third advantage is that skating is still skating. You are still grabbing your part of fresh air. You are still enjoying the process of skating with the spinning wheels on your feet. And that physical activity, maybe it's not that exhausting, but it's still a rather good physical activity. So if you feel that the weather outside or any other reason won't give you a chance to be a real speed monster on skates, don't be afraid of it. 
you can still go and skate. Maybe a little bit slowly, maybe a little bit clumsy, but hey, you still will be much more brutal than those pedestrians and way too much brutal than these drivers in their stupid steel boxes. So take your skates and go skating, no matter what the weather is, and we will meet each other on the streets of the planet Earth. See you next time.